Okay, so this next video lecture is the continuation still of our um, topic about the substantive procedures to audit asset accounts. So this time we will continue with the property, plant, and equipment. And uh, at the same time, our intangible assets because the substantive procedures for PPEs are also applicable for intangible assets. Okay, so here are the list of the substantive procedures which the auditor will perform in auditing the PPE and intangible assets. Um, first, the auditor can obtain or he can also prepare an analysis of repairs and maintenance uh, expense and he can vouch these transactions to discover if um, the, the appropriate amount was uh, capitalized okay because um in this case in in um in the repairs and maintenance of property plant and equipment um depending on the uh, purpose and the extent of uh, the repair um there uh, based on the applicable financial uh, framework um if that particular transaction meets okay, the guidelines for capitalizing the repairs. So the entity should uh, uh, correctly account okay, for such uh, item or transaction. Because in this case, if um, the entity okay, will not uh, capitalize uh, that amount, then expense account for repairs and maintenance will be overstated. Okay, so the auditor will make sure if um, the items listed for qualifying a repair and maintenance uh, expenditure will be capitalized. Okay, and this is also to make sure that the property, plant, and equipment. Uh, book value is correctly uh, measured and accounted for. So a capital expenditure may improperly be recorded, okay, as mentioned earlier, uh, as part of their expense. So therefore, uh, again, it will make their expense account over to be overstated. So an analysis of the repairs and maintenance. Uh, expense account this will help the auditor in detecting understatements of the asset account which is the property plant and equipment so conversely an analysis also of the property plant and equipment account may also uncover any repairs and maintenance that have been improperly capitalized so in this case if the entity capitalized an amount of repairs and maintenance expenditure which are not capitalizable then it will make the property plant and equipment account to become overstated okay so that should also be uh, detected by the auditor okay another substantive procedure uh, that can be performed is um the auditor can search for any unrecorded retirements or obsolete equipment. Okay, so in this case, if uh, the entity, for example, uh, sold a particular uh, property, plant, or equipment, and uh, they did not account for such uh, sale or retirement, then it will make the property, plant, and equipment account also to become overstated. As well as for obsolete equipment, uh, in which, uh, in this case, their value should be reduced, okay? Because um, its um, price or amount is not as the same as it is uh, not obsolete, okay? And if proper allocation of depreciation expense also was a uh, allocated to determine the book value of such property plant and equipment so unrecorded or improperly re recorded retirements and even those which were stolen okay, may, may be discovered so in this case uh, it will be discovered or detected by the auditor 
by examining the changes in the insurance policy because uh, in this case um if there are changes in insurance policy in which the uh property plan and equipment are um covered then uh, it will have uh the the information okay that a particular equipment was retired or sold or has been um or has to be uh omitted from the uh, list of property plant and equipment okay so in this case the auditor will consider the purpose of the recorded acquisition he will also examine the property tax files and the, the discussions uh, in the minutes of the meeting observation also or uh, he can do the examination of the debits of the accumulated depreciation or the credits to miscellaneous revenue accounts so this is where the auditor can detect if there are unrecorded or improperly recording of the retirement of uh, the property plant and equipment okay so this all these um items will direct okay to the balances or to the correct balance of our property plant and equipment so inquiry of the plant manager also uh, may disclose any unrecorded retirements or of the obsolete equipment because in this case uh, the plant manager is the one who supervise um the the department where this property plant and equipment are usually uh, employed so whatever that he may have or what is existing in the production uh, area it will prove to be those which are uh, the property plant and equipment okay, which are actually existing and those which are not may have been sold or retired and um, maybe or probably there might be some which were not recorded at all okay and again for the obsolete equipment uh this may not be used anymore in the production or it was uh used but with um the need okay for major repairs or maintenance okay so this should be accounted for properly by the entity okay um aside from those which were mentioned so there are other sub, uh, substantive procedures for property planted equipment uh, that the auditor can also use okay, to audit the account so first is the auditor can vouch any addition or retirement to property plant and equipment to verify its existence uh, accuracy in the measurement of the account and as well as the rights of the client over those property okay so vouching again is the auditor will uh, start auditing from the books of uh, the records from the book of accounts of the entity and he will look into the source documents to identify if indeed there has been a transaction that relates to these amounts which were recorded to the property plant and equipment balance okay another is uh, the auditor can also this uh, this review disclosures for the compliance with the financial reporting framework so again for property plant and equipment um, there is a required disclosure that the auditor needs to present as well okay in addition to the face of the financial statement another is the auditor can also inquire from the management um, those items are related to liens and restrictions uh, meaning um, there might be a property which were uh, the rights of using it were given to the other parties or the entity only has the right to use but they did, do not own such item 
or if this property was under mortgage or uh, subject to uh, collateral for any loans made by the entity. Okay? And any restrictions as well on the use of the property plan and equipment. Okay, another is the auditor can also review the loan agreements okay, in relation to the deans and restrictions of their PPEs and uh, to verify also that uh, there is an appropriate disclosure provided by the entity in relation to those agreements. Okay. Next, the auditor can also inspect major acquisitions of the PPEs to, ver to verify that indeed these property uh, properties are existing. Okay, another, uh, the, the auditor can also review uh, any lease for proper accounting to determine whether the property, plant, and equipment should be capitalized. Okay, because we have uh, this type of lease where um, the, the payment is only made for or as good as rent okay if that is a um, operating lease okay whereas if that lease is uh, qualified to be capitalized then the entity should account for it uh, appropriately okay because these transactions might have the effect of overstating or understating the property plan and account and property plan and equipment account balances. Another is uh, the auditor can also review of the board of directors or shareholders um, meeting okay, from the minutes. This is to verify if there has been a discussion related to any additions Okay, and if that is properly authorized and approved. Okay, the auditor can also perform analytical procedures to test the reasonableness so, um, of the ac account, okay, of, of um, the property plan and equipment account. So this will uh, answer the existence, completeness, and valuation uh, assertions of the management. So in this case, uh, the auditor will also look into the non-financial data and corroborate it with uh, the financial data that is being presented by the auditor to verify okay, the existence, completeness, and valuation of our PP account. Next, uh, the auditor can also compare or reconcile the summary schedules Okay, to verify if there are errors or clerical errors that may exist. Um, you can also reconcile the summaries of property plan and equipment account schedules to the general ledger to determine if they are accurate. Okay, because again, these are the balances which are usually forwarded in the financial statements. Next, uh, the auditor can also recalculate uh, the depreciation okay, to establish if the entity uh, has um, allocated okay, the proper amount for depreciation okay, and also to determine if uh, property plant and equipment was properly evaluate, valued for. Okay. And lastly, um, the auditor will can also consider any conditions that may indicate that these assets may be impaired okay, to determine that uh, it was also properly valued for okay, because again um, obsolescence of the property plant and equipment can also be determined by um, what is existing in the industry in which the entity is operating and other uh, from other sources as well that will direct Okay, the understanding of the auditor towards the condition of the property, plant, and equipment. Okay, so those are the substantive audit procedures. Uh, by the way, these are also, um, uh, or the substantive procedure can also be applied or performed in 
the intangible assets as well. Okay, so those are uh, the different um, procedures okay, that an auditor can perform in auditing property, plant, and equipment as well as the intangible assets of the entity.